Welcome to Thinkering 2. Today, what I want, want to talk about um, is a decision that I have to make um, in a preparation for a uh, trip. Uh, and I will put, I will put on the lenses that I will decide to, to carry on the Suri uh, 1.25 anamorphic uh, adapter. So here on my hand, I have the Canon 24 millimeter 1.4. And I've been using this with this adapter. And I think it's, it's, it's nice. I, ha I still have to, to look at the, the image. And prior to that, I was using the adapter with this one. It's a little bit smaller lenses. It's the Zeiss 25 millimeter 2.0. And with this one, the results were great. Um, my doubt is, do I carry the Canon one that is a 1.4 and gain one extra point of light? Uh, though the lens is a bit bulkier and um, it doesn't have such a, a stiff uh, focusing ring as this one, that I put some tape and now it's fixed at the, the infinity. With the Canon one, it's a little bit loose, it goes a little bit beyond infinity, so I have to, well, to move it around and, and set it down to the to proper position. And, um, but it's doable, I think, and I tried in the, in the camera, I can turn it on, turn it off. Some cameras will move the focusing uh, mechanism, even with the lens is set to manual focus which uh, was not the case with this uh, Canon uh, C300 Mark II. So, in that regard, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put those lenses on the camera so that you can see the image that it, it, it generates. Okay, so for measuring the weight, the Canon setup with the Suri anamorphic adapter weight one, one kilo and three, 300 uh, grams. Well, there's a difference, but not that much. The Zeiss setup is one kilo, 200 grams, 74. So yeah, the ballpark of 100 grams difference between the two lenses with one extra stop of light with this one. Seems that this one is a little bit better bang for the buck. But let's let's see how we how the image compare, how, how ship lens is here. So this is the image that the Zeiss combo setup produces with the Suri 1.25 anamorphic adapter installed. The F number is 2.0, so I did not change any patterns on the camera, um, so it's probably a, a little bit overexposed because I was exposing to a 2.0, 2.8 lenses before. Now let's switch for this one and see how, how it goes. So the image should be very overexposed. We are shooting at f1.4, but I decided not to change the configurations on the camera just to so that you can see the difference in terms of light gathering. I can put one one NED. So this is with one NED filter set 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 in the camera, and we should be back to the ballpark of exposition, the, the right exposition. But yeah, so we had um, seen the image with this, this Zeiss lenses, now with the Canon lenses. And this is probably one of the lenses, I will, I will decide which one of those I will carry on with me on the trip. Um, and probably the other one is gonna be a 85 millimeter or 100 millimeter 
something like that. But anyway, that's it. Uh, we hope this is useful, just a very quick comparison and hope this helps me to decide which one I'll carry on and maybe be useful for someone in terms of comparing the difference between those two lenses when coupled with this uh, Suri 1.5 and I'm off the block front and I'm off the block. So thank you. Bye bye.